<gasps> no, that's, that's us. That's our name. Don't forget, I'm like 47. That's generous. I got fleur narcotique. Drugs and drugs. <laughs> drugs on board. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Alex and today I'm going to be looking at a car so cool. I've decided, Jack, that I'm not going to do it alone. So if we just... Oh, okay. Just move that. Yes. This is Jack. How much do you know about the Peugeot E Legend? Uh, very little. I know that it's inspired by 504. Initial thoughts before we have a proper poke around. It's rude. It looks wicked. Rude means good. Rude means very good, yeah. Okay, anyway, let's have a proper look. The first thing you notice is these uh, quad headlights, which are reminiscent of the 504. Mm. I will say that usually concept cars or anything un unattainable doesn't interest me at all. But this, just from looks alone, I'm, like, I'm excited. Front end looks absolutely wicked. It is retro, it is modern, it's cool. Yeah. There's nothing I don't like. Even the logo yeah, here. Yeah, just... like, everything's just so sleek. Thoughts on the wheels? Uh, they look like they'll catch a curb real nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I bet yeah. it'd be a nightmare to rattle cat those as well. Oh, yeah. And just the silhouette is... Oh, look at that. It's kind of old school, muscle car. But then you've got really nice little touches like that. And you're going to like what happens there when we open does the that door. Does that change, does it? Right. I'm too excited about this. Is it a button? Wait. <gasps> No, that's, that's us. That's us, that is. That says our name. Floating rear bumper. Yeah. Rude lights. There's no exhaust jack. Oh yeah. What petrol engine is in this? <laughs> <laughs> the E-Legend has got two motors, one on each axle, produces 456 horsepower, oh, 590 pound foot of torque as well, Not to 60, under four seconds, and it's got a top speed of 137 miles an hour. Because yeah. this is a, uh, one million euro concept <laughs> car. We're going to have to wear some um, ah. shoe condoms. Okay. Because we don't want to be getting this thing dirty and you've probably been traipsing around a muddy field all weekend. Yeah, you've yeah. probably been at a festival, have you? He's going to ruin my crepes. <laughs> right, if you thought the outside was special, Get a load of the inside. Jack, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow your mind. You just rubbed that. It's got screens on the door cards. Yeah, they emulate wood. So it's like internet wood. No, that... that's something else, isn't it? First things first, we got a big old TV down Yeah, I noticed that. I, I mean, it's a bit much. I'm freaking out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a bit too much for me. This is too futuristic. For me, that fits perfectly. I know. Don't forget, I'm like 47. That's generous. You were born in 47. <laughs> <laughs> so this is now in drive mode. So if I wanted to take control and pootle down to the shops or do whatever, I would do that. But if I just want to kick back and relax, I would, Jack, press that button there. Would you like to do the honors? Just, just tap it. Press A. <laughs> Whoa, what's oh, happening? Hello. Oh my God. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm a bit worried it's going to fold me in half. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. What? Steering wheel, dashboard disappeared, fully autonomous. It is the coolest thing ever. Whoever thought of that is just an evil genius. Yeah, it's, it's excellent, great. isn't it? Seats are amazing. This fabric, what, what would we call this? Like velour? 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 Velvet? Velvet. Velvet. Okay. Velvet. It's just, everything is just so 60s, 70s, but then so it also retro. really isn't, is yeah, it? Like, yeah, yeah. It's like the year 3070. <laughs> Like, exactly. it's, it's, it's insane. So we've got this centre console here, obviously. Um, this controls everything. Command centre. So you can swipe. Oh, Thanks. that noise as well. There you go. Right. First things first. Jack, you're boring me. I want to play a game. Press start to play. What? Oh, I missed. All right, you're, you're up next. What the hell? <laughs> oh, oh, you got it. So this is autonomy level four equipped, which is what we had in the Renault Symbiols. And you'll remember I was driving that with a VR headset on and that, I mean, it ruined me for days. I was, I was a mess, I was a floppy mess. I didn't know what was real and what wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, yeah, similar, except we in a warehouse, so we're not gonna try that, unfortunately. No. Can we get the wheel back? We can get the wheel back. Do you wanna get the wheel back? Uh, um, um, 
What do you want? Boost or legend? Well, you're going to go boost on me. What oh. the hell? It's, it's awesome, isn't it? It's nutty. Hello. How does it even connect? Like, it's almost floating as well. Yeah. Can I put my hand right around the back of it? Right around the back of it. <laughs> what does that do? Oh. Oh. It's screen overload in here. <laughs> I can't, I can't, Screenception. It's too much. How cool is that? Where do I look? <laughs> I want to know how to open this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are these, though? Oh, these are probably like what food is in the future. You just inject that into your <laughs> neck and you get all your vitamins. <gasps> oh my god, it's perfume. I want to smell like the future. I smell really good. I'm obviously I think this is that. probably women's perfume. Uh -oh. Yeah, because I smell, I smell too good. Oh wait, there's, is there oh, a men and women's? And women's. <laughs> I got fleur narcotique, so flower narcotics. Drugs and drugs. <laughs> drugs on board. And what have you got? E legend. Oh, you got E legend. That so sounds I, I, way more manly than my fleur. Well, to be honest, I smelled like a legend before. So. <laughs> fragrance. Where? What? Off. Off. We want fragrance off. Oh well, yeah. I bet the people that make those tree. Well, you haven't even got a thing to hang it from. They're, they're going to be. They're going to be out of business. They're going to be pissed, aren't yeah. they? <laughs> <laughs> there are so many things in here that not even my mind could think of. I mean, who would think to put a screen the whole width of the car? Who would think to be able to? get rid of the steering wheel. It's it's that, nothing that I've no. ever seen before. That guy must have been tripping. Anyway, should we have a quick chat with the uh, with the designer of this car? For sure. Right guys, this is uh, Gilles Vidal. This is uh, Peugeot's design boss. Very good you? to meet you. Jack and I have had a good poke around. The general consensus from us is that it is Badass. And if you look at every detail, they don't look retro, except when you step back, you recognize the, the old car instantly. So that's the idea, basically. And then we've got big kind of sills here on the side. Is that just aesthetics or does that do stuff? Actually, it's, um, it is a battery rack. Oh, really? It, you can actually see it uh, from, from the outside. And then we show the fact that it's got batteries. Actually, the cooling of the batteries uh, happen here. And um, they, they do stick out. They yeah. stick out on purpose. It's like a sole on a sneaker, you know. It's, uh, it's there, it's almost independent from the rest of the car. And then I think the piece de resistance for me is, <laughs> is the rear end. If you were to sit kind of low, and if you imagine that those red lights were white, it could look like a front end of a car as well. Could be, yeah. It was a signature of the era, I believe. Yeah, the, the, the cars were actually very symmetrical front and, and rear, yeah, when yeah, you yeah. think about it. And, and now so you're we're bringing it to, back. Yeah, we're trying to, to make this happen on this, on this <coughs> particular car, yeah. How much of this are we likely to see in the future? Going that far in terms of there's nothing in there anymore, almost, uh, means changing the platforms. And even autonomous level four, you know, is yeah. maybe 2025, maybe later, we don't know even. Even though technically we are ready, the countries, the regulations, the rules on the roads for every country, will it allow this? Technologically, everybody is ready, but it will be up to countries yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, to decide. What's the one thing when you put pen to paper and when you saw it in reality that you thought, yes. That, that's me, I love that. The way the dashboard, the steering wheel come, comes to, to you when you switch mode. Well, I have to agree with you as well. That is by far and away the, the coolest, the sexiest thing I think I've probably ever seen. Thank you very much for your time. I think I've oh, got to you. shake your hand and say, uh, thank you very much oh, for pleasure. making the future look really cool <laughs> and uh, less scary. Yeah, jobs are good. Thank you. Thanks. Right then, we've had a good poke around the Peugeot e-Legend and I think we can both agree, Jack, that it is the most badass concept car we've ever seen and actually very exciting for the future, isn't it? Oh, 100%, yeah. I, th I think my favourite thing about it in general, though, is that it is inspired by a 60s, 70s car. This makes petrolheads like us yeah. generally excited. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I hope you guys are excited about something like this in the future as we are. As ever, make sure you subscribe to the Car Throttle channel by clicking on this link and you can watch more videos down here. 
We'll see you in the future, where we'll probably be walking like <laughs> robots. Bye-bye.